Hi everybody, this is Dmitry Shostakovich, and we are going to talk to you about arguments, right? So there are two broad types of arguments, deductive and inductive. You like that? Deductive arguments provide conclusive support for the conclusion. So if the premises are true, then the conclusion has to be true. Inductive arguments are probabilistic in that they can never be proven true. For example, a deductive argument might go something like, all cats are mammals, Dimitri is a cat, so Dimitri is a mammal, right? If those premises are true, then the conclusion has to be true. Now we evaluate deductive arguments by whether they're valid or sound. So valid means that if the premises are true, the conclusion has to be true. Sound means it's valid and the premises are true. So we go back to our argument that all cats are mammals and Dimitri is a cat, therefore Dimitri is a mammal. That argument is valid and sound. The conclusion has to follow and the premises are true. But if I said, for example, that all cats are trees, Dimitri is a cat, therefore Dimitri is a tree. So that argument is actually valid because if the premises are true, then the conclusion that Dimitri is a tree has to be true. Hmm. But it's not sound because cats aren't trees. The other type of argument is inductive. So with inductive arguments, we evaluate them by whether they're strong or weak. And the better the evidence, the stronger the conclusion. But remember, they're always probabilistic. So if I said, Dimitri is a cat, Dimitri bites. Therefore, all cats bite. So technically, I mean, he does bite, but it's just a playful bite. But my sample size is one. So concluding that all cats bite from just the one little cuddly cat is not a strong inductive argument. So that is weak. Most of the arguments that we make every day are inductive arguments. But we tend to think that our conclusions are more supported than they are. So when making arguments, consider what kind of argument it is can you draw the conclusion that you think you're drawing? Check your premises. Are your premises true? And remember to not be overconfident if you are making an inductive argument. Say goodbye, Dimitri.